I'm Doug Hunt. We're going to talk about how to buff your wet sanded guitar that's all hazy. It doesn't look very good now. Buff that by hand in case you don't have a mechanical buffing machine. And perhaps you've got some hard to reach places that you have to buff because you can't reach it with the giant buffing wheels. So we're going to talk about how to do that today. You're going to have some rags. And this is just an old cut up t-shirt. You want to have plenty of that. You're going to go through quite a bit of it. We've got two products. We've got Meguiar's Mirror Glaze Fine Cut Cleaner and Meguiar's Mirror Glaze Swirl Remover. And I'm reluctant to mention specific brands, but this is something that works. And so I wanted to be able to share this with everybody so they could see. These bottles have a little thermometer on the side that kind of indicates how, how much abrasive content they have. And so we're going to start with the fine cut cleaner. You can see the abrasive thermometer and that goes up to number five. And then we're going to finish with the mirror glaze uh, swirl remover that only goes up to about three. What I'm going to do, make sure you shake it very well. Get your rag. Don't apply this directly to the surface. It may eat through the finish, depending on what you've got on the surface. So put some on a rag. Make sure that there's nothing gritty on here. You don't want to rub any grit into the guitar and then scratch it with some kind of particle between the rag and the surface. And you're going to apply some pressure and work this in small circles. Okay. And have another rag that you can use to wipe off the excess. And then inspect it. And I can see that it's gotten somewhat shinier here and here, but still it's quite hazy and it's not nearly good enough. So we're going to go back and there's enough in the rag, a little more pressure, and you should feel some heat under your hand, in the, in the palm of your hand, between the rag and the guitar body. The heat from that friction is what activates and makes that polish really do its job. Oh, yes. Much shinier right in this vicinity here. Got a little more to do here and over here. If you need to, if, it doesn't, if the rag feels like it's drying out, maybe get a small amount more. Put it on the rag, not on the guitar. And come back. Lots of pressure. You're going to feel some heat under your hand. Wipe away the excess residue so that you can inspect your progress. And it's coming along nicely. What I'm seeing now is a shortcoming in um, that it wasn't wet sanded enough in this region. And you'll be able to see the orange peel come back up. If you polish it and you haven't sanded enough, you'll be able to tell. Do this spot too and see what this looks like. After a while, your second rag that you're using to take off the residue is going to get kind of dirty. This one's going to get pretty well soiled. What I'll do is I'll have them trade places. And I'll get a fresh clean one to use to wipe away as my secondary rag. And my secondary rag will then become the rag for applying the polish. Now, once I've done everything with the fine cut cleaner, that's the, the coarser abrasive, and these are very fine abrasives, but that's a little bit coarser. I'm going to use the swirl remover to finish up. Make sure you've got clean rags that don't have any trace amount of the fine cut cleaner on them. So you want two clean, dry rags that haven't been used for anything else. Students, plan to bring in one or two old t-shirts to cut up into small squares like this to use on your guitar. Don't expect other people to provide this for you. Okay? I'm going to put a little bit of this on here. Oh, it's pretty running. I hope it's all right. And again, you're going to rub that in there, and you want to feel that it's getting very warm under your hand. That lets you know that it's actually working. And take another clean rag and wipe off the excess. And if that get, gets warm too, that's okay. And that small section I did right in here looks terrific. I can see the reflection of the light fixture. I can just about read the print off the light bulb. So you go back and take your the rag that you're using. Get a little bit more. And we'll continue on to the next area. And work in small areas and small patches. Don't try to do too much at one time. Make sure you've got an area looking good before you try to move on and do the rest of it. There's no point wasting your time when the material's on it if you're not doing a good job with the whole thing. Check and make sure that one small area is going well for you first. Clean that off. And that looks really well. You can get inside the horn areas, which are not only hard to reach with a spray can and a gun to, to paint, but you can get inside here with the, buffing, the polishing compounds and the rags as well, because you're not going to be able to get any kind of buffing wheel into these small places. So that's how you do it. This is what you use. 
Best of luck to you.